Yeah, quite also the next job my beetle is to fit these beautiful pop-out rear windows. So I'm really, really super lucky to get hold of these. Super bloody lucky. Just a chance, chance meet at a car show. Mentioned to the guy, you know, that I was I just put an advert online last night for a set of pop-outs. And he said, oh, I've got a pair that not using them, do a deal, job done. So I've got them here, um, unused, absolutely El Minto. All the brackets, it's got the black knobs on it. Obviously I, I want ivory knobs to match mine, but you can get those um, relatively easily, but I'll do that for next. Um, it was just missing the seal kit that goes around the inside of the frame. So I've got those on coming today from VW Heritage. They're about, I think about 30 quid for both sides um, delivered. So you can, to remove the windows, you can sit in the car and effectively kick out the glass very carefully. But um, as these orig original seals, and also they are knackered in the corners, um, they were really, really tight onto the, onto the frame, the headlining. And also I don't want to kick them out, break the glass, original VW glass, and also damage any of the um, very, very delicate uh, materials here. So what I've done is I've just literally, as you can see, I've just cut away at the bottom of the seal with standing knife happy days that way i can also then keep the rest of the seal on the glass and then put the glass into storage and it will add some sort of protection as well to the actual glass when it's in when it's in the garage so yeah but it's, it's original wool line in here so I'll take it out in a second i'll pull it out carefully i'll do it from do it from the inside myself without filming so i can make sure i don't snag any of the headlining at the top and then once that's out i'm going to give it a little bit of a clean round and then ultimately get these in which we on the next part of the video in a second. Cheers. All right, so as you can see, that side's out. And what I've done is I've just um, gone around with a bit of glue and just pinched the end, just so when I put the seal on, nothing sort of slips down, just so it looks neat. I know you can sort of push push the fabric up again, but this fabric is very, very delicate. So by doing this, I should be able to put the windows in and the seals in nice and easily without damaging anything further. So yeah, happy days. Cool. Looking good. Nice one. Yep, so I just drilled those out, um, no drama, just basically hit the windows on from the inside as far as they went on possible, and then say um, a, a pilot drill piece, a really thin piece through from the other side, uh, after I centre punched it to make sure that I got the holes, you know, in the optimal position, then took the windows out obviously, and then um, just drilled through very, very carefully from the opposite side, and then uh, the larger correct size through from this side really careful. So that's good, so now I'm going to fit the window in place, and try and connect it up and see how it looks. Right, so basically, um, you saw I drilled the holes out, I put the window in place, um, screwed it on, and what I had to do actually is I had to, had to basically actually put the bracket, the metal bracket in there first, then tighten down the five screws um, to make it all sort of nice and level and all that sort of stuff, then took the screws out, moved the bracket, fitted the window in the hole, put that, and then screwed it in properly, and then it went in fine. And basically, it was it didn't fit very well at all. So there's literally about a millimetre gap all the way along the top here, between here um, and the edge here. So it's, it's too loose this side, and therefore it's too tight on that side there. It just, wasn't, it just was not sitting central at all. And that was on, that's on all the way that it can go. So what I'm going to do is basically take the hinge off. So I put, I put the tape on this, as soon as you take the hinge off on this window here, the aluminium frame, because it's one piece, just pops open. So I put the tape on here, just so I don't you know, get the seal out of place. Removing these, and then I'm actually going to try and move this over. So at the moment you can see there's a gap here, of that much there. I'm going to try and move this over just sort of half that gap, you know, it's sort of about two millimetres, that sort of level. So widen it, widen the holes here a little bit. And it's got the electric, because it's got like, you can sort of see where it's, um, it's got like a little, um, sort of mark where the aluminium is pushed into 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 the gap here so I think even if I widen the screw holes a little bit and then make this new press into the frame it should hold it nice and solid obviously, obviously I don't want it wobbling around but obviously it won't fit as it is and there's no movement in this set this, this sort of half of the latch so yeah let me whip this off and uh, adjust that right so a little bit more on this quickly so yeah just unscrewed it obviously make sure you have the tape in place otherwise it will pop open then you might lose your seals a bit um, this this is something thin, something like maybe aluminium. I haven't checked it, but it's that sort of metal. Um, you can see here that it's, it's shaped here because once it's tightened down, that's how it forms. Something I'm going to straighten out in a vice, make it, make it nice and flat in a vice, and then just widen those holes downwards a little bit. And then once it's in place, I'll then be able to sort of um, 
shape, this little groove into here to keep it sort of solid. Um, and then obviously once you tighten it down, you know, if I can hold it in place, it should then sort of self-create this, this sort of uh, tapped sort of recess part. You know, because obviously I don't want it wobbling around, but clearly it has to be fitting the hole properly, which it isn't doing right now. So that's the plan. But yeah, so that took about 15 minutes, I suppose, and you can sort of see the marks on, on it, which I'll clear up in a second. But yeah, I just literally used my Dremel, as you can see here, just to widen the holes. Really easy through this um, alloy. Um, and then, of course, flattened it out in the vise again. Use a combination of the vise and um, this as well, with the, with the hammer. Um, yeah, and that's good. So I just put, on, just put it back on place again. Obviously, held it, held it uh, to the left, screwed down. Obviously, you don't want to over-tighten these screws. Um, because of course they're drilling, they're going, they're going straight into thread in aluminium, so obviously be careful. And then I then used um, a screwdriver just to gently knock round. So this section here, I just sort of pushed it down because it forms quite nicely, and then just went over it with a screwdriver and hammer just to sort of knock, you know, um, the trim here into into the edge, just to give the extra bit of of holding. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to go anywhere at all. It feels absolutely solid. So I'm going to clean it up now. And then get up in the car and see if it see if the window now fits basically. Cool. And so that's what I did there. So there's a little bit of a tiny. You can sort of see there's a little bit of a, you know, um, you know, a half millimeter of gap on the edge. So it just gives you guys an idea. But of course it depends if it's the same hinge and the same brand and all the rest of it. But yeah, let's try it out. Cool. Yeah, Paul. So the Beetle uh, pop outs are done. So like I mentioned earlier, these are 1950 to 1963. Um, pop outs um these are so these are basically reproduction ones because original ones are super 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 rare um they're in nice condition they're quite expensive um but as i say they're fixed solid aluminium um they don't fit perfectly you know um out of the box you have to you have to mess around with them a fair a fair bit you know to get them to to work um and close reasonably well uh, but otherwise when you're driving along like that, they 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 they, they feel solid. They look then they look really good. Um, got the black knobs on here at the moment. I will be changing it over for the for the for the the um, ivory ones on time when I do my next order. I expect just so it matches the interior. So close it there. So feedback for these is that they, they look great and all that sort of stuff, but they don't fit perfectly. The reason they don't fit perfectly, I would say, is because of the thickness of the bracket on here. So the, this piece here, um, as you can see here, is mounted on the frame rather than on the glass, which it is mounted on later beetles. Therefore, when you close it, so this piece here hits against the um, the pinch welt trim or the metal bit of bit of window hole. Basically, it's there. So when you close it, it's doesn't the window will never ever sit flush. The window will never sit flush. It always have a gap uh, just down there. Most mostly, obviously, it tapers inwards as it gets towards the end. Um, unless of course VW you know cut away part of the metal or whatever in there that means when it's like that I couldn't get it any better then you've got a little gap just there and a little gap just here um, but it seals well as it gets as it gets further out so it's better so that's that that's the only sort of that's the sort of negative um, there was a lot of dicking, dicking about basically to get the things to fit you can't just put these window frames in you can't just you know like put them in place drill the holes out Put it in place screw it up job done it doesn't work like that sort of thing these thin sort of aluminium brackets which are underneath there which are obviously good and they're flexible and all the rest of it are on my windows you know i probably put it on the previous part of the videos so i had to unscrew the brackets um drill ream out the holes slightly and move the whole bracket which is underneath here um this way a little bit so that the glass would move that way a bit and then make a tighter fit on the seal on this end and therefore um, it'll bring this end of the window over a little bit and it'll fit much nicer this end. If I just installed it as it was, I'd have a gap there of a mill or two and it'd be really tight as tight on this end here so it wasn't going to work. So there was definitely some sort of messing around to get it to work. Um, and getting that look, that metal bracket in, the metal sort of strengthening bar in there which the four screws, a five screw screw into, is very, very tricky as well. So you kind of like how to take, you sort of put it in place then take it off and then put the brackets um, temporary into the window on, on your workbench, put the five screws in, get it all lined up, bend it, squeeze it, pliers, all that sort of stuff, 
take the screws out, put the screws in again, and when you know the screw's going to go in and fine, then you can then transfer that onto the car and then screw it in on the car. So it's definitely some, some messing around. Um, but you know, end of the day, it's, a re it's a reproduced, a reproduction part. It's not a genuine part. And these early cars are different from later cars. On on a later car, I believe all the holes are there and all the holes are there. So on these early cars, there's no holes anywhere. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, it closes. Um, oops, it closes. I'm just getting that. Closes nicely, and all that. And I say that other than this gap here, it's all gone in fine. The pinch well goat, which is a black seal, goes in really easy. You can get that in black or white goes in super easy so yeah i'm definitely overall pleased with them they're very expensive um i feel that they should fit better you know for the price maybe but i think the, the most the, the main issue is probably this part here and i guess unless vw cut away part of this metal here which maybe they do i couldn't find any pictures on the internet at all for anything if i did cut away that then obviously it would then sit all the way in so i'm, I'm going to look at that to see if vw bend you know bends it that part of the metal in a, in a bit maybe they bent it and i can get it to sit better i don't want to sort of cut away anything obviously because i don't want to cut away original metal but i want to sort of see what bw did yeah and there we go happy days cool and anyway, thanks for watching hope there's some useful tips and um yeah all the best nice one